And some nice defense there to end the quarter. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Magic out in front. They lead by a bucket. And we'll see you back here after the break. Third quarter action in just a bit. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. Orlando leading. Pass to Bowl. Here's Carter. Takes the three. On target from range. And the Magic lead by five. See, he had time to line it up. And you know what? He's capable. Here's Porter. Outside for Green. On the wing, Porter. Just five on the clock. Late clock. Houston's got to hurry. Here's Shangoon. Doesn't go that time. Now Orlando takes it the other way. Wagner up top. Second half getting started. About a minute played. Again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. Here's Green. Driving in. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Green's got 15 points. So quick on the drive. When Green is slicing with confidence, he is hard to stop. Ugh, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Smith left side. To the middle. Pass to Shangun. Tries again. And he battles for the ball. Gets the second chance bucket. Give him eight. Those are some hustle points. Really bonus points when you put in a miss. Here's Dan Carroll. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. And this is why you must push Bancaro out of the paint, or else he'll slam it all over you. When you take a look at this Houston Rockets team, there is no question that they have talented scorers who can get it going quickly. And he lobs it up top! And it's slammed in by Carter. Woo! <laughs> I just love that alley -oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized, defense pays. Shangun. That one drops, and it comes off an assist from Porter. shangun has got four points this quarter. And while the Rockets definitely have some talent, Richard, they've struggled to be consistent. Yeah, that's largely due to the youth and inexperience, and that only comes with playing games. The guys that they lean on to score are still finding their footing. They're finding their game, and this team realizes they need to stay patient. Here's Carter. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Carter. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Here's Porter. Pass to Garuba. Up top, Smith. Timeout called. Houston. Yeah, Coach, no doubt, wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. I'm sure all of the above is in order, and you can never be too content. To the paint. Here's Karuba. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. And you can see Smith has the vision. Now, it'll be interesting to watch that part of his game continue to develop. Inside. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. And now just a three-point Orlando lead. Outside Fultz. And we've got 118 left in the third quarter. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And he knocks down the first one. Oh. 
off on that one. So he goes one out of two at the line. Carter can't get it to go. And here are the Rockets now. To the inside. Here's Smith. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Smith's got six points. And there's the length of Smith at work. Playing big on the interior. Left side, Carter. Releases. And that's good. Off the glass that time. Give him eight points now. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. Pass to Christopher. Here's Garuba. The rebound by Carter. Outside Fultz. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. And the Magic lead by six. Putting in work. Carter Jr. is a lunch pail guy who just goes about his business. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Smith. Second chance shot. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Heady play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. That one's no good. Here's Kaminsky. Buries it down low. Kaminsky's gotten his second bucket. It's the little plays like that that can make all the difference. Not boxing out on free throws is a killer. And here's... Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer beater. Ooh, could be a backbreaker. What a way to carry them into the final quarter. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. And here are the Rockets now. They trail by seven. Here's Green. And it's Orlando with a rebound. Pass to Ben Carroll. Foul called. Looked like the D didn't get there in time. And he'll shoot free throws. And the playmaking skills Ben Carroll has already are outstanding. Just such a unique young player. He hits the second from the line. Here's Green. With the crossover. Fires the three. Not going to go that time. The Magic go the other way with it. Down low. Here's Wagner. And the powerful one-handed slam. Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. His arrow's been trending up as of late, and he's been magnificent tonight. Outside Fultz. Driving inside. Up and in on the layup. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, you can give up some size, but that shows you how fearless he is, willing to attack the basket no matter who is in front of him. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. And it's the Rockets with the ball. It's a 10-point game. Here's Smith. Back to Shangun. And it's Orlando with the rebound. To the middle. Here's Bancaro. It's rebounded by Shangun. Pass to Green. Outside Porter. To the paint. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's a veteran move there by the young fella. Green gets the defense off balance with the pump, draws the whistle. I like it. 
And so he makes both from the line. Anthony with it. To the inside. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Man, this has been a fun one. But look, who doesn't love a high-scoring game? Pass to Shangun. On the wing, Green. Oh, rejected by Isaac. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. And out of bounds. Houston will have it. Like, like what? Like, what is going on right now? They're doing what they can do to mount a comeback. In B.A., they don't have to get it all back at once. Just focus on making every possession count. Shingun tries a 10-footer. Shot is off. 5 for 10 now. Down low. Pass to Carter. And it's slammed in by Carter. I don't know what's going on with Carter tonight, but something has him motivated in a major way. And they'll ride him for as long as they can. Anthony misses. So it's the Rockets now. Down by 12. Here's Smith. The shot that time, not on target. Now Orlando takes it the other way. Anthony with it. Now Porter defending. Here's Isaac. Yes, it's good. And the Magic lead by 14. All right, Richard, I was looking over your accomplishments, doing a little extra prep on you. An NBA title with the Cavs, a state title in high school, and almost won it all in college in Arizona. Is that the one what if in your career? Oh, no. Thank you for bringing those up. But, uh, yeah, I have tons of what ifs. I have, you know, obviously the college championship. I also got Athens in the 04. And look, just for giggles, I also like to talk about the two times I lost in the NBA Finals going against Shaq and Kobe, then Tim Duncan, David Robinson, and Manu Ginobili. But the funny thing is, it's not like they didn't have Hall of Fame head coaches. It was only Phil Jackson and Greg Popovich. So, you know, I've run into a few buzz saws in my day. Timeout called the Magic. They're leading by 14. 105 left to play in the fourth. And there is no way this margin gets closed down. Great execution of a game plan and a nice win here for the Magic. A pair of tremendous rebounding teams. And these guys played a little harder tonight, and that was the edge they needed. Carter from outside sinks it again. That's his seventh made field goal in 11 tries. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. All oh, road wins. They're just so sweet. They're just so sweet. You know why? Because they are so hard to come by. And I have no clue how he got that one to fall, pulling some magic in the midair and torturing the defense in the process. And here's Houston. The three is up. It's rebounded by Wagner. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Carter. Now here's Foltz. He's guarded by Porter. Now here's Carter. From down in the low post, it goes. And the Magic lead by 17. Yeah, it's easy to see why they go to him so often, because they know they can depend on him to come through for them. Martin outside. To the middle. Wagner with a steal. So no problem for Orlando as they get the win. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them.